Um, anyways, I want to talk about our players, the week selections. Uh, show them right up here and just kind of run through. We had uh, offensive, defensive, and special teams player of the week for Division Two, Three, and NAI. First guy right here, Jordan Terrell, man. Barton. We're going to talk about Barton here in a little bit. 26 carries, 256 yards, and two uh, touchdowns. Dude balled out. They got a big, a big win behind a lot of his carries. That was the first guy I feel like we had to nominate. Another guy that might have been number two for me, Kyle Sheets from Slippery Rock, had like 200 yards, three tuds um, on a ridiculously low amount of catches. He was averaging like so many yards per catch. So shout out Kyle. He was definitely my my 1A, 1B um, right there. But I think we give the nod to Jordan in this one, the way that he impacted his team and, and picking up a, a really competitive win. Um, also with these stats on the ground, just really impressive. So shout out to him. But moving on to our defensive player, we had Trey on earlier in the week. You talked about his stat line. Oh my goodness, I almost ran out of room on the graphic. Two interceptions, 77-yard pick six. He had two PBUs, an 88-yard punt return touchdown. He also blocked a point after attempt, returned it for a two-point conversion. Dude was all over the field. Craziness. So we had him on. Make sure you listen to the last episode if you want to hear him talk about that win for shorter, shorter, not Schroeder, damn, Shorter University. They've got Delta State this weekend. Should be an exciting one for those guys. Diari Rogers from Lenore Ryan. Five punt returns for the kid. 170 yards and two tuds. That's enough for special teams player of the week. Big time win for them. I believe they blew out their opponent this last week. That's a squad that is finding seemingly their rhythm at the right time. Division three wise, JJ from Cortland. In a loss to Susquehanna, he had these numbers, five receptions, 250 yards and two tuds. My math, once again, not great. That's 50 yards a pop for number four for the Red Dragons, man. Shout out to him. That is an incredible stat line. Defensively, Rossi Moore, 11 tackles, six tackles for loss. That's a, a single-game record for Mount Union, which, again, any record you can have at a program like Mount Union, if you can set a record like that, you know the type of dudes that have come through that program, the excellence, the standard of winning. You set a single-game record like that, we're going to throw you on the list. So, Rossi, shout-out to you, my friend. Four of those were sacks. Big-time plays from the, the Purple Raider there. This one, the stats may be deceiving. Dominic Wynn, our special teams player of the week in D3 for Susquehanna. That same game, two fumble recoveries. Those both ended up being scoring chances for the Riverhawks. A big ch- a reason why they won that game. One of them set up the game-winning score. So, you might say, oh, not a lot of stats. The impact that this man had in that game cannot be surmised in a couple letters. So uh, shout out to him. Big time players make big time plays. He did it in a pretty big time moment. NAI offensive player of the week. This one's on me. It's Jack Perka, not Jake. I apologize. I don't know why I had it written down the wrong way. Jack, Jake, don't care what his name is. Dude, balled out. 28, 45, 407 and two tuds. Jack, I apologize. But um, either way, brother, over there at Carroll, this dude was slinging the pigskin around. Defensively, Damon Burns Mitchell here, 10 tackles, two interceptions, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery for University of the Cumberlands. And uh, another guy over there from Cumberlands. Again, the stats, maybe not crazy from Jabba Tossian here, but two for three on field goals, five punts, uh, which is about 30-yard average, which isn't crazy, but had a lot of those punts uh, within the 20-yard line. So it was his ability to be able to pin the teams uh, and give the offense of the opposing team a super long field is what we felt gave him the edge in this award. But as always, if you guys have players that you think should be nominated for a Player of the Week award, please, please, like I'm begging you, please, because it is so hard to cover everything, DM us, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you feel like it. Shoot us an email, division1rejects at gmail.com. I don't care. Contact us somehow. If you got my cell, call it. You know what I mean? Because I can't possibly see all these guys. It's just too difficult. There's too much going on. But I do my best. I want to make sure that we're recognizing guys. We'll definitely be doing that uh, moving forward. Let's do it.